This weekend on Joy News, we bring you all the highlights from the prelims of the National Science and Mass Quiz. Where exactly can one locate the photosynthetic pigments of Chlamydomonas? Cohesion by a factor of nine. In cockroaches, where are the organs of taste located? Glycogen. For bonus. 12 liters. Route 41. On Friday, from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., on the Joy News channel on Multi TV. Also on Go TV Channel 144 and on DSTV Channel 421. The broadcast of the 2018 National Science and Math Quiz is brought to you by Eastway Loans, Kingdom Books, and Newmont Ghana. And we know that we're the official channel for the 2018 signs and mass quiz and the contest has been heating up from over the weekend we had some great results also coming in and uh, please make sure that you stay tuned with us throughout the rest of the day but this morning we have to give you the highlight as a student and your teachers in the management they prepare for the contest in itself we have to go to a man, uh, Maxwell Agbagwa, in one of the halls, uh, ready for the event this morning for the recording session. Good morning to you, Maxwell. Which of the halls are you reporting from this, this morning? Good morning, Roland. Um, so we are here at the RS Amagashi Auditorium. Now, what is happening is that for the preliminary stages, we had um, two different halls. But now, we've all moved to one hall, that's the RS Amagashi Hall at the University of Ghana Business School, where the elimination um, contest will be taking place. So um, over the weekend, we had um, 81 schools balloting for um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the competition to happen from now until um, next week, Wednesday, when we are going to end the one eight stage and then move to the quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the grand finale. But already the one eight stage, you know, the elimination stage uh, promises, you know, some expected nail biting, you know, contest. And uh, without much ado, let me just run you quickly through um, so some of the contests um, to expect. So we have um, Presby Senior High School in Quetia, and then Yasantua Girls, and then Presec Ligon. That is happening today. It's the third contest of the day, so it will be happening at exactly 4 p.m. Now, for these three schools, Presec Ligon, we know, um, they've won the competition five times, and they are looking forward to winning it um, for the sixth time, um, actually. Um, yes, and to girls, um, they came into this competition. They had to compete from the preliminary um, stages. Um, I remember during the prelims, they actually won with um, just about 32 points. And then Presby Senior High School in Quetia also um, came in as the third school, um, as uh, you know, um, the school that lost but with highest points. So by virtue of that, they have qualified to the one eight stage of the competition. If you are looking at the favourites um, in this competition, then obviously it's Presec um, Legon. They are coming into this competition as a seeded um, school. They've won it five times, looking forward to winning it for the sixth time. So they are the favourites in this contest. Now for the second contest of the day, we have Infant Pim. Senior High School, Infantipim School, Nandam Senior High, and then Bogatanga Girls. Infantipim obviously are the favorites um, in, this, um, in this particular contest. Uh, I mean, they've been seeded, they were seeded, uh, they didn't have to go through the preliminary you know, contest. Bulga Girls, they scored one of the lowest you know, points in the preliminary contest, just gathering a, a little over 10 points you know, to qualify um, to the next stage of the competition. Now, Another contest um, you should look out um, for is Ola Senior High School, Addis Adult College, and then Osei Tutu Senior High School. Now, Addis Adult College, um, they've won this competition um, once, but last year they were actually finalists. They were in the finals with Premper College, um, St. Thomas Aquinas. And um, they came third, you know, during last year's contest. Obviously, they are the favorites in this. But Osei Tutu Senior High School is likely to give them a good run for their money because Osei Tutu Senior High School, they had the highest points um, in the um, preliminary contest. Um, they had 64 points. At the time when we thought Konogo Dumase Senior High School would get the highest points 
that 61 points. We had um, Osei Tutti Senior High School beating them with the highest points, 64 points. Now in that contest, the second place school, Osei Tutti Senior High School beats the second place school with over 40 points. I tell you that yes, these guys are really um, into, uh, are really determined to win the National Science and Math School. So for Addis Ababa College, Osei Tutti Senior High School, or last senior high school also. <laughs> I mean, sadly, we cannot really predict what's going to happen in this um, particular um, contest. But another round of competition to look out for is uh, contest 12. We have Bishop Herman College, Academy of Christ the King, and then Maoli School. Now, Maoli School is coming into this competition as a seeded school. So they didn't, I mean, by virtue of qualifying to the semi-finals in last year's contest, they didn't have to go through the prelims. So they were just, I mean, just comfortable, just chilling in their bed, waiting for two, these two teams, Academy of Christ the King and then um, um, Bishop Herman to join them. In this particular contest, Maoli School is coming as the favorite because even for Bishop Herman College, they qualified to the 1A stage of the competition with just um, uh, um, 32 points. Considering, uh, considering that Osei Tutu Senior High School qualified with 64 points, Bishop Herman qualified with just about half of that. So really, that's not really too you know, impressive. So for this particular contest, we know Maoli School, they are coming in as the favorites for this particular contest. And you know that the rivalry, the Volta region rivalry between Bishop Herman and Maoli School will definitely play out in this particular contest. And we'll be watching, you know, keenly. Another contest to look out for um, is, let me take you to this one. Premper College, um, Xavier SHS, and then St. Francis Xavier. It's another contest to look out for. Premper College, they've won the competition four times. Um, last year, I mean, they won the competition. They are the defending champions. And obviously, they wouldn't want to get out of this competition at the one eight stages. No, they want to defend their title and then, you know, win it and then equalize um, uh, uh, what, I mean, uh, Presec has done. Presec has five. They've won it four times now. They want to win it for the fifth time and also say, look, we're on the same pegging as Presec. So obviously, they don't want to uh, get out at the one eight stage. Xavier Senior High School, one, I mean, one of the debutants, they've performed so well in this competition. Um, St. Francis Xavier, of course, we know St. Francis Xavier uh, from that Pope Jones, you know, <laughs> contest. In fact, they won a contest between uh, uh, um, Pope Jones and then another school, Brecum Senior High School. Now, St. Francis Xavier won with 47 points. Pope John's, um, I mean, they, they had just about 39 points. At the time when we were going into the competition, a lot of people were tipping Pope John's to win that particular contest, but that did not, you know, happen. St. Francis Xavier won. And I've been speaking to the contestants. They are determined to get to the finals of the competition. So it doesn't look like they're going to give Premier College the defending champions, you know, to beat them. So it's another contest to look out for. These two schools, Premier College and then St. Francis Xavier, um, uh, um, it's another contest, you know, to look out for. Now, contest 21. We have Agri Memorial Senior High School, Sunrise Senior High School, and then Kumasi Senior High Technical School. Sunrise Senior High School is also another school uh, um, to look out for. They are in this competition as debutants. But they caused a major upset on Friday. They beat Opoku Wari School to qualify to the 1-8 stage. You should be here when the, uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, during the balloting, when the name Sunrise Senior High School was mentioned. I mean, the whole auditorium, everybody started shouting because they know, look, these guys are a force to reckon with. Although this is their first time in the competition, you have to look out for them because they are known to cause, you know, uh, uh, some upset. And for um, Agri Memorial Senior High School, they are coming in as a seeded school, but they still would have to watch out for their backs because Sunrise Senior High School um, uh, would definitely be coming in into this competition strongly. Now, another competition to look out for is Fijai SHS, St. Peter's SHS, and then Jachi Pramso Senior High School. Fijai SHS actually beat Krobo Girls. They had 34 points um, during the prelims, and Krobo Girls had 33 points. Definitely, you'd want to watch out for um, Fijai. They qualified to the 1-8 stage after beating Krobo, um, Krobo Girls. Now, Jachi Pramso Senior High School is another school to look out for because um, you're told that they kicked out Almighty St. Augustine's College at the regionals. Shocking. <laughs> now, if you interact with 
the contestants. What they tell you is that, look, we're coming here with one thing in mind. We want to win the competition. And our teachers have told us, I mean, a lot of things. They tell us that, look, some of the big schools are just riding on past glories. They are different contestants coming in into this competition. And if you are in with them, look, you're on the same level. So just be determined to win the competition, and it would go in your favor. And I'm sure that is what the guys from Jacha Pramso will be coming into this, you know, um, competition, you know, uh, 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 with. So Roland, if you ask me, I mean, we have a lot of expected nail-biting contests, mouth-watering, I should say. Sad, sadly, I cannot take you through all of them, but these are, you know, so, 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 some of the contests that you should look out for. And we are here, positioned here, strategically positioned here, monitoring events, and we'll be reporting as and when they happen, Roland. Well, thank you, Maxwell Akbaba, and uh, that's great highlight. And we know that we can always count on you, as well as um, Nancy Emma Fajradosi, for the latest update as far as we're concerned. But uh, you know that all this is also brought to you, brought to you by uh, some of our great partners. Isway Loans, your CIMG Finance House of the Year 2016, is now Isway Savings and Loans. Uh, you have to let um, Isway. As far as we're concerned, uh, it's where savings and loans provide you and to earn financial solutions when it comes to business loans, high yielding saving accounts, fixed term investments, payroll is where uh, fast and reliable as always. Now, we also know um, uh, Kingdom Books with over 30 years experience in the stationary business in Ghana and beyond. Kingdom Books and Stationery now offers a 30-day credit facility with no interest rate and they offer free delivery within Accra, Tema and surrounding towns. So make sure that you visit Kingdom Books today at Osu Akwaje, University of Ghana campus. Kingdom Books are next near the Accra Sports Stadium as well and in Tema on the main TDC junction, Kumasi on the KNUSA campus, Cape Coast on the UCC campus, Takrade, uh, the Fijai um, area near the uh, Teachers Hall. Uh, make sure you call them, 030-764101 or 762307. Or visit Kingdom Books and Stationery Limited uh, because it is your number one stop shop for all office essentials, stationery, and furniture. Well, that's it for the latest update as far as the um, math and science quiz is concerned. Uh, make sure that you follow all the uh, updates on our social media handles, um, join us on TV and the relevant handles we have here, right here. And you can always be watching us live right here, also on my Online TV, which is our regular channel on YouTube. Well, we'll be taking you uh, to Kojo Yangsen, who currently uh, is going to give us the latest update from Malam, where we know there is some rehabilitation ongoing with the drainage there. The engineers were here some few weeks ago. They had given us all those promises that uh, by now we should not be having the traffic, but it hasn't truncated. It's still affecting a number of commuters along that stretch. So we'll be looking at that fundamentally right here on the show. Do stay on. It's a great time to be on the show.